Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here for the road to my 745th and 746th Platinum Trophies. Today's games are the PS4 and PS5 versions of Unpacking. So this is a very easy Platinum Trophy. It's relatively quick to get through if you know what you're doing or use the accessibility option as the main suggestion. But this is a mostly quick and easy Platinum Trophy. Basically the game is all about just unpacking all of your stuff into different houses. But the stuff is expected to go in certain places. However, this game actually features an accessibility menu, well, not even really much of a menu, more like one or two options, that allow you to place items wherever you want on the level. Therefore, your only real limitation at that point is potentially the amount of space you have in certain rooms, but you can always just move stuff around between rooms and just throw it all over the floor. So the Platinum Trophy is relatively easy, especially if you use that method. If you don't use that, I would probably recommend having a guide up just because a few of the items can be kind of finicky as to where they're supposed to go. So this first trophy, you're going to get this one automatically during the first level of the game. It's just going to be one of the random items that you unpack. Then solving the Rubik's Cube, you have to hit it with X and then repeatedly hit circle on it and that will solve it. And then you can turn on a music player in pretty much any level. They're in a lot of different levels, but the earliest you can get this is the first level of the game. Because I think there's about eight different levels in this game. And this is an unmissable story trophy for finishing the first level. Then this can first be done in the second level. Just pick up the mannequin and then hit circle on it a few times until it gets into a dabbing motion. And putting the cookie jar out of reach. This one's a little bit finicky. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. So just try to put it on a really high ledge. You can start doing this in the second level. Then put an electronic device somewhere dangerous, so take like one of the game consoles or something and put it in the shower will work perfectly fine for this trophy. It's also a little bit finicky as to the exact positioning, but nothing too bad. So this is for finishing the second level of the game. You can first get the game console, I think, in the third level of the game, so just uh, place it somewhere and then hit circle on it and it should turn on and therefore give you the trophy. This one, I believe, can first be done on the third level. You're going to unpack a hat at one point, and you have to go put it on the head of a mannequin in one of the other rooms. And then this is another unmissable story trophy for finishing the third level. This is in the fourth level. You have to take all of the underwear in the first and second shelf uh, within the closet of the bedroom and combine them all into a single shelf. There's just enough room for it, but it's still pretty easy. This one you have to put four or five, I think it's actually maybe like six or seven specific items onto the counter in the kitchen during this level of the game. So this is another story trophy for finishing that level. Uh, then this one is in a real short level later on in the game. I think it's what, level six by this point? No, level five I believe that would be. Yeah, I think that's level five you would... Just take the poster, it's in the cabinet in the bedroom, and just put it up on the wall and you'll get that trophy. Then you'll get this trophy for finishing that fifth level of the game. Then you can set the time on the microwave starting in level six. You have to put the microwave next to one of the outlets in the kitchen and then just hit it with circle a few times until the time is set. Then you have to write an equation with the fridge magnets. This is also in the same level. Uh, this one is a little bit finicky because there's not a lot of space on the fridge for like a horizontal equation. So you just have to do it below where the handles are. And apparently you don't even have to make a correct equation just as long as you have a number, then the plus symbol, then another number, then the equal symbol, then the last number it should unlock. So this is for finishing the sixth level of the game. Then you have to unpack all of the plants and place them somewhere. This will unlock automatically during level 7. This is the automatic story trophy for level 7. And then you finally get to level 8, which is by far the largest, as there's like 10 different rooms in the house. That one would probably be kind of a nightmare to do normally. Uh, but for this one, you just have to build a tower of five baby blocks in the nursery. You have to put the stuffed tiger and pig next to each other on the bed in the nursery, the crib. And then you have to flush every toilet throughout the game. I think there's a toilet in almost every level. I think starting with level 2, there's 
one in every level from that point except maybe one level doesn't have any and then one level the very last level has two of them so just flush every toilet you come across nothing's truly missable because you can always go back to previously completed levels so there's nothing to worry about and this is for finishing the final level of the game so yeah easy platinum trophy overall as long as you are willing to use the accessibility as that is just going to make your life a whole heck of a lot easier so with that, level 839, 91%, 26,659 total trophies, 746 platinums, 4,883 gold, 7,131 silvers, 13,899 bronzes. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end and you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so and ring the bell for notifications. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See y'all back here soon for another trophy video.